narrowboats are unusual looking boats. Our narrowboats are both 54 foot long and only 6 foot 10 inches wide. Inside, with your arms outstretched, you can comfortably touch both walls at the same time. But we live on them, this pair of narrowboats. We don't have a home mooring or a marina, instead we travel the country's old waterways and settle in a new place each week. This time we're leaving a village called Scholar Green and heading up to a town called Congleton. Pretty cool bridge, wouldn't you say? It's kind of horseshoe shaped. We're on the Macclesfield Canal, which is a kind of different canal for us uh, in many ways. We've never been on this canal before, but also uh, the engineer who built it, Thomas Telford, is different. We're used to James Brindley's work, James Brindley being, I suppose, the most famous uh, canal engineer in these parts. Uh, but yeah, this is Thomas Telford's work and you can kind of tell the difference. What I guess that means is there's just differences, some slight differences in the way that the canals were built, but also in their kind of contour that they take. Um, this guy, Tommy, Tommy T, he preferred just to build the canals as straight as possible rather than following the contours of the land. He would just sort of dig through stuff, making embankments and stuff like that. And where he did need to use locks, he tried to group them all together. As such, on this canal, which is, I think, something like 27 miles long, all of the locks, all of the, well, all but one of the locks, are in a flight of 12 locks. The only other one is that little toll lock that we went through before. So, we're not going to go through any locks today. We're just moving up from the village of Scholar Green to the town of Congleton, just a little further up. It's so nice in these autumn mornings to be up and about on the canal. The whole place seems really quiet. You kind of get the canal to yourself. It all seems a bit secret. And it's just such nice light at this time of year. I'm not going to wax too poetic, but it's a nice atmosphere here. Just telling you that explicitly in case the pictures don't show it. This is what I'm talking about. This is Tommy T's work. I feel like the canal's right up on an embankment. It's kind of like the highest thing in the surrounding landscape. And uh, it's all just to avoid locks, building locks. Not really to avoid building locks, but to avoid making boatmen have to use them, which would slow them down. This way, you just beam straight through. Kind of like the Roman road equivalent of a canal. I guess we'll probably just live somewhere like that when William gets too old for boat life. Bridge number 82 means we're nearing our destination. Our usual tactic when approaching a town like this is to find a mooring place kind of just before the town and then go ahead on foot, do a little recce, make our move. This bridge is a snake bridge, another one of Telford's inventions. So as you're going through, they, the horses come up alongside the boat on that side and then sort of go over the canal and turn back around again. It means that you can change the side of the towpath and the horses can change side without having to unhitch. Quite cool, isn't it? And I think we're gonna moor up just here.
could be home for a couple of days. Yeah, I'm excited to check out Congleton. There's everything here. There's, uh, there's like seagulls for some reason. We've got ducks, pigeons, moorhens, and a, a waddle of geese just rocked up. <laughs> a duck just came really close and he was like, <gasps> like really quietly, but like just breathing really deep. Like, oh gosh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wee. Information, Congleton Town. We've got to find out for ourselves. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? A real, like, mix. Well, there's loads of old buildings. Like, everything looks like it's from a different time. There's, like, Tudor, Victorian, Edwardian, a massive town hall. It's interesting. All the pubs around here are called Ye Old something. And to be fair, they do look quite old, but it's maybe another small telltale of a, a more touristy town. I feel like calling your pub Ye Old something is a bit more of a signal. That's more for tourists That's than. That's cynical. Maybe that is a bit cynical. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the entrance to the town hall. For some reason, Congleton's known as Bear Town. I don't really know why. It is. Shall we get a coffee? Yeah. Thank you. Hiya. Oh, thank you very much. Um, but that's cool. Congleton's got quite a lot to it for a town of its size, I'd say. Yeah. That's the canal up there. We've noticed a lot more of this going on on the Knuckles Field. That we go over a lot of roads, like the, the canal is like kept high rather than being down in the valley. But I guess they had all these decisions to make, like should we go down through the town and not raise it up? Or should we just pop it up on a bridge across the road? So they did that. Do laundry now. Somebody who offers the service from their house. Yeah, I searched for laundry and I think this is actually like an ironing service. Uh, it's quite a sight to behold. <laughs> Put quite a lot of washing. I've got one on my back as well. We've got everything. We've stripped all the beds, We've got every single towel we own. The directions to this place are like go to the railway bridge, turn down a dirt track, we're 100 yards on the left or something like that. I've got a small bag more of wine, yeah. Thanks so much, John. Thank you, yeah, no problem. Like I said, I'll drop your message tomorrow. Okay. I'll, I'll give you all details how much it'll be. Perfect. See you later. See you. See you. Seems like a great idea, that. Yeah. Especially like with 
how businesses like that are found. Like you just Google it, Google laundrette, and yeah. if you come up on Google, like you get yourself a job. Yeah. That's right, we've gone fluorescent. We mean business. Cool. These snake bridges are cool for boats, not so cool for bikes and baby seats. We've come to a nearby farm, maybe inspired by Peppa Pig book, book that we've got. We've come to a petting farm. Yeah. No. No. Why? I've got a feeling this is a pretty happening place. Yeah. Uh, maybe at the weekends there's a little sort of mini go-karting ring. There's a digger you can have a go on. Why tractor when you've got a boat at home? <laughs> It's quite nice having William, even though he's not bothered one bit. Um, it's quite nice having him as an excuse to come and see places like this. Everybody wants to come and stroke a goat, really, don't they? Who doesn't want to stroke a goat? Come on, please. Exploring all the tiny pasta shirts. And away we go. But I think we'll call it here tonight. We're gonna to get in, get warm, get some dinner. But thank you for watching. And um, it's goodbye from Congleton. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye.